the real reason why you keep failing and what most gurus, 99% of them won't tell you the real reason why. But first, I gotta go hop in my six figure car and put on my $50,000 watch. Just actually hit the gym, forgot to record the video so I do look a bit scruffy, but you know, we still gotta get this video. So this is the real reason why you're always going to fail and what gurus never tell you. With the internet space now, with any business, regardless of internet, let's talk about real estate as an example. Everything seems so easy to make money. You can passively make money without doing too much work. Well, these gurus, everyone is not telling you the truth. None of it is actually as easy as it seems. I know a lot of guys who start something and quit two, three, six months into starting. And they started it because it seemed easy. They had shiny object syndrome. They might have been working on something here. Then as soon as things got hard, they jumped over to the next thing. And again, what sparked me to make this video was Thomas Gannett. He's been in the space of SMMA and digital businesses for, for a while now. And when I first saw his video that went viral, that put him on the map, it really ignited like even my passion for content creation and really talking and documenting about the journey to seven figures, let's say, and, and running a business. I wish I did that with my first business at the age of 18, but really, I saw his new video today posted, I believe, yeah, as at the time of this recording, and it was about how SMMA is dead and how SaaS software as a service will be the next big thing, the next money-making machine that has high leverage where you can make a lot of money with little input, little time input. And again, that's back to what SMMA was a couple of years ago. You know, you, you sign on a client, you make a lot of money without doing too much work, but it just shows like, don't listen to these gurus because the whole space right now is full of people selling you a course, selling you a dream. In fact, I probably got you to click $100,000 car, 50K watch, that's the Apple watch. Um, now I'm playing. and. What I've been experiencing every day, I usually work six days, I work seven days a week, but six days, 12 hour days, and then the seventh day, you know, more time for God, family, and a couple hours here. Nothing is ever as easy as it seems. If you ever wanna be truly successful, you're gonna have to put in the work. You're gonna have to put in the countless, endless hours and be patient and be consistent. These gurus will never break it to you except a person like Alex Hermosi, who I do follow and, admire as an individual because he breaks the truth to you. He doesn't bullshit, there isn't a course really. All of his videos always start out with, I have nothing to sell you, I only give value. And I'm trying to do the same thing with this channel, so if you don't know me, my name's Dylan, I'm a mechanical engineer. Give me a sec, getting a call. Just got off a call with a client of mine. Um, where was I with the rent? Yeah. So again, my name's Dylan. I'm a mechanical engineer, entrepreneur. Started my first business when I was 18. I wish I documented that, all the highs, all the fucking lows. And I just wanna make this video, make this YouTube channel to document and inspire people. That's what all my platforms content is on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. And even if you meet me in person, we'll talk, we'll talk business, we'll talk fitness. So subscribe and again, what gurus won't tell you is that things take so much trial and error, failures, and don't trust everything you see online. I wanna circle it back one more time to the Thomas Gunnett video. Like, he was a big inspiration in the SMMA space, being very raw, but now that he's an affiliate with Go High Level, I think he makes like six figures a month, he now is starting a school community and selling a SaaS course capitalizing on the fact that SaaS is so easy and that you can easily make a lot of money without putting in a lot of work, which caters to 95% of the population that don't work hard. They're selling you the dream. I have nothing against Thomas Gannett. He's smart, he's leveraging his platform, he's making money. But I guess for the average individual or someone who is struggling to find success or struggling to even get started, Stay focused. Stay focused on one thing and get really good at it. And then once you have a skill set that makes you valuable in the marketplace, then you can take the next step. Start another business, do a joint venture with other successful buddies. But until then, keep your head down and work and stop buying into what these gurus don't tell you. 
that all businesses are easy. I myself right now, I'm looking at a development with a couple buddies and in theory, it sounds easy. All we do is put in some cash, develop, renovate and flip it, 100K right there. That's not the case, right? I wanna bring the analogy of a house again. When you buy a house, you have to do the finances, work out the mortgage rate, work out if you're actually cash flowing positive or negative. You don't wanna miss a mortgage payment. You need to find tenants too, to rent the, the house. You need to find tenants that will pay on time, that are good, that won't trash your property. But in simple terms, rent out a house, you make passive income, you're building equity and you're free flowing and you're becoming a million, you just keep scooping up. In Canada, you can't even buy a house with 5% down for rental. Correct me if I'm wrong, real estate agent. So things again are not always as easy as they seem. Even with the agency, so much cold calling, clients requesting this and that, you know, invoices not being paid on time. But in theory, you do a couple hours of work, social media management, you let the ads run, you're collecting a couple grand a month with no work done. So again, this is why you fail, you keep switching up, stick to one thing, make yourself valuable, subscribe, very raw talk, raw look, you know, hit that chest and back workout and we're about to go to Vancouver. So, so blah, blah. subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Again, very raw videos pumping out, just trying to inspire. We'll see you guys in the next video. I just had one more thought. On that point of focus on one thing only, if you actually don't know what you're doing, work for a whole year and work 12 hour days. Do anything, get two jobs, get three jobs, do whatever, because that will teach you at least the things you don't like. So if you're young watching this and you want to be successful and you don't want to fail, at least take that one year to work, stack up your money, learn to be financially literate, so save money, and you'll learn what you don't like and you'll meet a lot of people. So I would say do door-to-door -door sales, work at night at a kitchen as a server or cook, that teaches you how to work in a team. And then if your third one, start a side hustle maybe. And this is again, this is not me saying shiny object syndrome, but this is, if you don't know what to do, do a lot of things in one year and then you'll be able to figure out, okay, now I know what to dial my whole entire focus to. For me, after school, it was sales and business. So it's basically sales and marketing and engineering. That's three things, but for me, it's a bit different. It's blended into one. But yeah, don't just go to school. Don't just go into debt, spend like 50K to 100K, whatever it is. Don't just go to school, work instead. I wish I knew this when I was younger because I actually didn't know what I wanted to do. But with the education system, how it is right now, don't just immediately go to college or university. So with that being said, I'm gonna end this video. Stay grinding, subscribe again, comment if you found this video helpful, follow me on all platforms. And yeah, I post fitness, food, business motivation, and raw content like this. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Thanks guys.